Hey, what's going on? So, SEC Challenge 2014. Let's talk about it. It's a little challenge that I wanted to have. Uh, just try to push the wireless limits of something like this Slayer over here. Um, it's called the SEC Challenge. You can use anything like a Tesla coil. You can use a giant sideways pancake, eight feet wide if you want. Whatever you want. Get creative, think of some stuff. Um, all we're looking for is a true wireless transfer from a source tower to a pickup tower. And I want to be able to light something like a little fluorescent tube. Um, a compact fluorescent. That's not as easy to light. These are a lot easier. Four foots are even easier to light. Lots of tricks out there. Lots of guys have been looking at this for years. And there's a ton of information. Who am I to hold this contest? I'm nobody. There's a guy that just started playing with this and happened to be talking to a few people who got excited about it. So I figured, why not? Let's all get on the same page. Um, Mr. Abrams from Abrams Lab, Tesla Arc, is going to be coming on board as a judge, I believe. And there is still lots of other openings. Anyone else doesn't want to compete, uh, wants to just look over videos and stuff like that, help me sort through anything that's going to come in, uh, by all means, drop me a line. Uh, the prize package is going to be below in this description. And it's changing almost every day. We're adding stuff. And uh, so I'm just going to keep updating that and try to keep that as current as I can. Any official entries, um, put them in the link, in the comment section for this video as well. Uh, it's going to be going until October 15th. So all you have to do is say something like, here's my SEC Challenge 2014 video, and put a link. You can link your videos right in the comment section now, and we'll make sure to go over that. We'll be putting out, I'll have to be setting up a forum as well to... Uh, to go over a bunch of prizes and to, to talk about people's videos. Maybe you don't want to talk in the comment section. Um, Russ Grease, R RWG Research, and um, I'm looking at many, many, I don't even know that guy's credentials now. He's got such a long list after him. Uh, he's like a professor. And uh, he's given me one of his workbenches at his forum, so I'm going to be uh, using that. So thank you, Russ. And um, yeah, good luck to everyone. I'm kind of in a rush. Sorry, this video is uh, a little bit sporadic, but if any, any questions, leave in the comment section. Get a hold of me on Google Plus um, or YouTube. I'm there pretty much every day checking things out. So, peace out and good luck. Cheers. Hey, what's going on? So I'm getting a couple questions about this contest. I want to clarify some stuff and um, maybe you could just give a little demonstration to show what I'm talking about because I'm actually having people write me asking what are you talking about? I don't, I don't get it. anything that you're talking about. So, um, You can use any source tower you want. Any circuit, any power supply, anything you want. Just know that if you're going high power, you're going to be going up against some pretty uh, experienced guys that have been doing this for a while, so you better, better step it up a little bit. Um, as long as your receiver tower has no power supply at all, then the sky's the limit for your geometry, whatever you want to use. So, I know a lot of you guys are using some pretty high voltage, high current machines that are really dangerous. Um, the catch of the contest is that you have to be able to explain your setup in a way that someone that's experienced enough can replicate it and learn from it. Um, now, if you don't want to explain your high power setup in the fear that someone's going to really try to replicate it and hurt themselves, I completely understand because that happens all the time. Um, it's totally up to you how much you want to share. But again, because this is open source, if you want to claim prizes, then you're going to have to explain it. Um, just know that if someone wants to build a tower and they want to build a high, a high voltage device, um, the plans are all over the internet. They can do it. They can go hurt themselves. And they might actually benefit from some experience and someone that um, has safety in mind first so that they can actually learn from someone like that and do it properly the first time. Uh, you know, you don't want to make mistakes with a lot of this stuff, guys. It's It can hurt. Um, I, I deal with pretty low power because I'm, I am new at it, and this is just how I feel safe. So. Um, when you can enter, you can enter anytime you want. You want to put a video in now? Awesome. Um, we can all learn from that, and our videos can step up. You can make multiple entries um, so that, you know, the spirit of competition can just build and build, and we can all get awesome by the end of the competition. You want to wait until the end? and just drop knowledge on everyone all at once, that's fine too. That's totally okay, it's a competition, it's all friendly, it's just for fun anyways guys, no big deal. Um, I'll fire this guy up, for some reason I just keep staring at it, I'm not good at looking at the camera, I'm sorry. I'm better behind the camera than in front of it. So this tower's got some weird 
um, properties to it, just because of the way I run it. I've got a couple videos out about it. I'm just getting sidetracked here. Back EMF ghost. There he is. Oh, he's jumping around. He's all over the place. Oh, he's a slippery little guy. Where is he? Enough of that. Um, okay, so my tower's oscillating. I got wireless. Right, I can light a ball about pretty far, actually. It's not bad. But this tower here is actually coupled now. So if I get out of the way, I can actually light a ball off this tower. And come around and I've got light. That's what I mean by wireless transmission. So all I would do now, unplug my circuit. Please don't have the measuring tape up while you're running. <laughs> you can, but uh, take your measurement with your circuit off, please. And 34 inches, that's my entry, 34 inches. So a lot of the guys are going to push it a lot further than this. I've, I've put out videos showing how I push it further than this a lot. And um, yeah, that's about it. So hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, I'm going to try and include a couple of little odd, odd things in this video here. I've been playing with just because something I have to just sit and listen to me talk. Um, I'm just going to ground this system out here by touching. Oh, let's just touch the battery instead. There we go. So we got all our spots there. If I let go, see all those? All the dots? I don't know if that's going to show up. I have an incredible distortion field there. I don't know what you call that. Um, these fields are button heads pretty good. So that was a bit weird. And then on my pickup tower, show you just how sensitive this is. Oh, I'm oscillating properly. There we go. So now I've got a leg over here. And I'm just going to move this, uh, this single ring that I got down here. See just how sensitive this is. Right off the stand. Took a little while to set up just because it is so sensitive. No, I'm not going to go to the light now. Oh, there it is. So I'm just moving this a little bit and there it cut out. So it would be great if it wasn't so touchy. Um, the geometry isn't there. But this is still amazing. This is something I never thought I'd see. I never thought I'd be able to transfer power like that. So, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. And that's why we're here. So, yeah. That's about it. Sorry if that was a little anticlimactic, but uh, maybe it'll give you an insight into what I'm doing and help you understand why I wanted to have this contest. Cheers.